Hi everyone, welcome to History of Architecture 4. I am Rogin Sipabiles and we, I will be talking about one of the greatest architect in the third generation Filipino architect. And he, he is architect Jose Maria Saragoza. Architect Jose Maria Saragoza was, he was graduated from the University of Santo Tomas, Manila in 1936. Passing the license examination in 1938, make him become the 82nd architect in, of the Philippines. He, he, he is specialized in religious architecture and he studied liturgical art and architecture in Rome, Italy in the late 1950s. His training in Rome resulted in innovative approaches, setting new standard for the design of mid-century Catholic churches in the Philippines. His product in designing religious structure or churches was reflected in his body of works that was governed by about 45 churches and religious structure, religious center, including San Domingo Church, Our Lady of Rosalie in Tala, Don Posco Church, the Convent of Pink, Ros Pink Sisters, the San Beda Convent, Viles San Miguel, Pius the Twelve Center, the Union Church, and the controversial restoration of Quiapu Church, among others. Jose Maria V. Sarzagon, Sur Zaragoza was the last architect who was awarded as a national artist in 2014 for, for his secular and notable religious work. Architect Zaragoza was born in 1912 to 1994. His notable works was Miracle Building, Pasig City, Domingo Church and Convent Quezon City, Metropolitan Cathedral, of Cebu City, Villa San Miguel, Mandaluyong, and these are the uh, is some of his works during his time. Commercial banks and trust company building, Estacolta, Manila, Lopez Building, Meralco, Pasig City, National Library of the Philippines, Manila. Santo Domingo Church, Quezon City, Pink Sister Convent, both in Quezon City, the Union Church of Manila, the Protestant Church, St. John Bosco Paris Church, Shrine of Lady of Miraculous Medal, the Pious 12 Catholic Center, and here are his works, the three main works of his career, the great, the Lopez building, Miralco Pasig City, also known as the Miralco building. Here are some pictures of Miralco building. It is a main use of reinforced concrete. Miralco Building along Ortigas Road, Pasig City, was built in 1965 as the largest commercial edifice in country in the country. It is 14-story structure, the slightly cursed facade accentuated with 
Reis Solel Sun Buffers was a benchmark of architecture of in modernism. The design vision was achieved through functionality, style, and technological advancement whose sculptural form was supported by strength of its construction materials and slightly curved to give it more stability and to avoid the box-like appearance. Next is the Santo Domingo Church, Quezon City. Here are some pictures of the Santo Domingo Church from the exterior to the interior. Santo Domingo Church was the largest church in Metro Manila and one of the largest church in the Asia. The new Santo Domingo Church was built in the, in the Art Deco combined with Spanish modern style, with, which was unlike the Baroque churches built during Spanish period. The church employed the latest techniques in reinforced concrete building. The mission style architecture includes Romanesque and a Gothic design that accommodate more space. The Santo Tomas Domingo, Santo Domingo Church was the largest church in Metro Manila and one of the largest church in Asia because it is composed of six complex church complex church next is the national library of the philippines manila here are some pictures of the national library of the philippines manila as you can see, it is a main use of materials was reinforced concrete, reinforced concrete and glass with a touch of some metal beam. The complex is located in Ermita on the portion of Rizal Park facing TM Calo Avenue. The National Library of the Philippines was established in the Museo as the Museo Biblioteca de Filipinas through the, to, through the Royal Degree of August 12, 1887. The library was re revived with the domin domination made by the American Circulating Library association of its circulating library to the government formatized through public act number 96 passed on march 15 1901 so the national library of the philippines was has been a lot changing its name changing its name a lot during the times so that's all. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this presentation.